Hello and welcome to another how-to video here from Fronius International. Today I want to showcase the correct inverter dimensioning that you can do in our Solar Creator tool. We have already started a project, a test project, and have done the first and the second step in this project with location and consumption. In the third step, the PV arrays, we have already entered the, the two arrays that we want to work with. So in our case, it is a south orientation with 9.6 kilowatt peak. We have entered the module options, all that we can. Then we have entered a second array that we have called east orientation with four kilowatt peak. And already here we can see all the, the manufacturer details, the module details and so on. And last but not least, we have selected connect with. And when we do that, we make sure that in our next step, when we come to the inverter ratio, it preferably searches for an inverter that can handle both of the arrays that we have selected, that we want to work with. Now, we hit the next button and come to inverter and sizing. In inverter and sizing parameters, we first of all need to set the correct target ratio. And by that we mean the ratio between the PV generator size in our case the 13.6 kilowatt peak and the inverter size AC. So what's the AC unit uh, of inverter that we want to connect? Now we need a little bit of, of uh, calculation to be done in our heads there. For a 13.6 kilowatt peak system I would prefer to choose to use a 10 kilowatt inverter, preferably a 10 kV uh, plus inverter, Gen24 inverter, because then we can already work with a battery. Now, this is possible to do, but we need to set the target ratio correctly. Now, we have already done this here and set it to 140%, because only then it will search and find the correct inverter for this 13.6 kilowatt peak inverter. The maximum DC voltage, we can leave it to 1000 volt. That's the absolute maximum that we can work with. And the module temperature, you can leave it as well on minus 10 and plus 70. Unless you want to work really in detail, then you can hit the calculate from ambient temperature button. Then it will work with, the, with your location and the linked minimum and maximum temperatures that occur there. There is also advanced settings, which is basically a current factor that you can change, but we now leave it for this how-to video. Now, if we have selected the target ratio to our correct setting and scroll down, we come to the topic inverter. And in here we have a best selection. So based on my input, it put out the following inverter, which are best suited for my project. And this is basically the whole Simo Gen24 inverter range from 3 to 10 kilowatt. But that's not all. Um, if we have the preset done incorrectly for any reason, we can change this also in a later step easily by hitting the three dots on the left top corner and hit project settings. First up is the project name and so on. We can skip this part. But here in the project settings, we need to set it correct to what we want to add to our system. Now, if we scroll further this best selection series, we see a little bit more of the inverters that would be available. So let's say for any reason, I also want the, the Simo 8.2 in my list, then I can simply hit it with a button and select it. If I say, for example, the 6.2, zero plus inverter is a little bit too small for me. I don't even want it in my list. Then you can skip it uh, and put it out of your list. Now, if you are happy with your selection and if you have set the target ratio correctly, this is really the most crucial part here. Then you can hit the show calculation part or you can hit the drop down menu and select create manual sizing. I want to show you now the show calculation button. So based on my input, it will give me now a suitable inverter for my 13.6 kilowatt peak generator size. And here it is with a ratio of 136%. So that's perfectly near my 140 that we have targeted. And it is no surprise, the Simogen 24 10 kV inverter. 
and it's even a plus inverter, therefore we can add the battery. We can see now how it's linked. So we can see PV1 is MPP tracker number one with two strings and 12 modules, which gives me the 9.6 kilowatt peak on the south orientation. And on the second MPP tracker, we have one times 10 modules, which gives me four kil kilowatt on the east orientation. If I want to change any of this, we can simply select this pencil button here, which is the same as the manual sizing option that we've seen previously. Now in here, we can see the quantity of inverters that we want to use. It's already pre-selected because we have a perfect match. And this is one inverter of the Simo Gen 24 10 kV. We hit the add PV design button and out comes the option to add some strings. And as we have said, we have two strings of 12 modules and this is the south orientation. We can quickly check if the open circuit voltage on the coldest ambient temperature is not above 1000 volts. If it would be, it would be not possible for me to proceed anyway. So we would need to change something. And the second array, as mentioned, is one string with 10 modules and the east orientation. And also here we are not above 1000 volts. If we are happy with that, we hit the save button, come right out of this feature and menu and jump right back in here and click the next button and can proceed with our project.